What's up you guys? Welcome back. So I look a little crazy right now because my makeup is half done, but that is because we are going to be doing one of the most exciting first impressions that I have done in a while. If you somehow live under a rock and you haven't heard, Fenty Beauty launched today, which is Rihanna's makeup line. I am so excited about this line. I have such high hopes. So I got up super early and headed over to my local Sephora and got my hands on the collection. I spent way too much money, but that's okay. Do it for YouTube. And can I just say that it was so refreshing to just be able to like go in store and get the products because I feel like recently with the rise of like KKW Beauty and Kylie Cosmetics and a bunch of other launches that are online only, it's always so stressful to try and get new collections because you're online and the servers are going down. There's 5 million people on the website where this was just so easy. I just strolled into Sephora and got the collection. So it was a stress-free process, which I really liked. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. It'll be the first link right down below in the description box. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So we are gonna get started with the primer. She came out with the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. And this primer was $32. Let's go ahead and take it out. This is what the primer looks like. I have to say, upon looking at these products, it really does give me KKW Beauty vibes. Like I feel like it's very similar because they use like the same tones and very minimalistic packaging. I like it. I just think the packaging is slightly similar, but I mean, to me, honestly, like I don't really care. And I do think it's nice. So it does have a pump top under underneath and you get 1.08 fluid ounces for your $32. And I'll just read you guys the claims that it says on the box. It says it's supposed to give you a smooth pore defining finish, which I'm all about and that it's supposed to extend your makeup wear. And then on the top here, it says soft matte. So I guess it's supposed to keep you matte, although it doesn't explicitly say that where it makes the claim. So we'll see. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it to my finger and then onto my face. I don't really know. I'll do two pumps and we'll just work it in. Ooh. It has a interesting consistency. It's kind of like if you took moisturizer and put like a little dollop of like Elmer's glue, like it's a little bit tacky. Like it feels nice and creamy, but it definitely has like a tackiness to it. So that's kind of interesting. So looking up close at my skin, you can definitely tell that it did blur out my pores. So I have a lot of larger pores right in this area and it definitely did a really nice job of blurring those out. So I am pretty impressed. Next, we're gonna jump in with foundation, which is what I feel like everyone is so excited about. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This was $34 and I ended up going in with the shade 240. As far as the actual range in shades go, Oh my God, there are so many shades to pick from. Like, oh my God, there's literally 40 different shades, which I think is amazing. I know that's something that Rihanna had spoke on that she really wanted to make sure that like everyone could be able to find their shade in foundation, which I think is amazing. I do have to say, I was like a little bit overwhelmed. It definitely took me a while to actually pick out the shade that I thought was gonna match me the best just because there are so many different options. So there was quite a few shades that I thought were gonna be able to match me, but I mean, that's not really like a bad problem to have. So it's supposed to be a soft matte long wear foundation. It's supposed to feel very light to the skin and it says it's medium to full coverage. And again, the packaging on this guy is very similar to the primer. We have the pump top. So I'm going to just pump out some on my finger and go in on my face. Obviously, if this is like the first video you're watching of mine and you don't know, I match my face to my neck because I don't self tan my face, but I self tan the rest of my body. So that's why it looks really dark. All right, so I'm gonna go in and blend this out. The shade is a little bit yellow, but I feel like with concealer, we'll be able to work it out. It's blending out really nicely and very easily, which I like and does not feel drying at all on the skin, even though it's supposed to be a mattifying like finish, it doesn't feel drying. So A, A plus for that. And it's blending out really nicely with my beauty blender. They do actually have a makeup sponge available in the line. I skipped on it. I felt it to me. It kind of just felt very similar to the beauty blender. So I didn't think I really needed it, but they do offer that if it's something you're interested in. All right. So this is it all blended out. I'm going to look with my up close mirror just to see what I think about it. Like I said, it was really easy to blend. And I do think that the coverage on this is really, really nice. Like I definitely would say medium to full on the fuller side, definitely dries down to a super matte finish. There's really no luminosity to this foundation at all. So that's fine. Just know that if you're looking for a foundation, that's going to be like hydrating luminous 
skip on this one, but if you like matte foundations, I feel like you will really like this. I do have dry skin, but I don't feel like tightness or uncomfortableness on my face, so I'm okay with it. But overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with the foundation. I do like it, and I think the coverage looks really, really nice. Alrighty, so next to try out, we have the Match Sticks. So you can buy these actually individually for $25 each, or you can get them in this little trio for $54. So I opted to go with the trio. I got the trio in shade medium. They had like a light, medium, tan and deep, like four different trio options. But basically in every box, you get a contour, a concealer and a highlighter. And they actually like are magnetic. So they all stick together, which I think is really cute. But if we look at this, like I said, definitely KKW Beauty vibes. I just feel like it's kind of interesting that they both have such similar packaging and they're like such big celebrities. I don't know, but I mean, I don't really care. I like the packaging. I just think it is pretty similar. So in the medium matchstick trio from Sephora, you get the shade Bamboo for concealer, which is this guy. So I'll swatch it on my hand so you can see. So that is the concealer shade. Seems very creamy. Hopefully it will work. For contour, you get the shade Mocha. That looks a little, a little dark, but we'll blend it. And then for highlighter, you get the shade Trippin. Now, when I looked at this in Sephora, I was like, is that a highlighter? Cause it kind of looks like a blush, but I guess it's kind of like in between a highlighter or a blush. On me, I feel like I could probably wear it as either cause it kind of is very peachy. So I'm gonna go in with the concealer first. This one is in the shade Bamboo and Conceal. So I'm just gonna put this under my eyes. It feels really, really creamy upon application, which is really nice. And then I'm just gonna go back in with the Beauty Blender and blend it out. Seems to be blending out pretty easily. I'm not sure that I love the concealer for underneath my eyes. Like I feel on the other areas of my face, like down my nose and stuff, it's fine because it does give like a nice little highlight to those areas. But I think under my eyes, it's not like enough coverage for me personally. Like I like a little bit of a fuller coverage concealer under the eyes. And I don't find that this gives me like the coverage that I want. I would say it's definitely more of like a medium coverage, maybe even like light to medium. It's not a full coverage, like Tarte Shape Tape sort of concealer. Now I'm gonna go in with the contour in shade Mocha. I'm just gonna use a light hand with this cause this looks pretty dark. And I'm just probably gonna do like little dots, just like that. And then just go in with a beauty blender to blend. Blends out easily, so that's nice. A lot of times cream contour, you're like sitting here for like 100 years blending it out. I mean, I didn't use too much of it. I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit more. But it does blend really nice. Especially because I am blending them like on top of that super matte finish foundation, so I thought that might make it a bit hard to blend, but I'm not having any issues with that. So that's good. So I feel like I definitely don't hate this contour stick like whatsoever at all. I just feel like there are probably better ones to be completely honest with you. So this would be the first product from the collection that I'm kind of like, eh, maybe you don't need it. Um, I don't know, to me it's just kind of like, okay. But I'm still gonna go in with the highlighter. This guy is in the shade Trippin'. Like I said, I feel like this is probably gonna be better suited as a blush. So I'm just gonna go on with my fingers. and Kind of tap it on as a blush. I feel like it's not really showing up. I'm gonna really get it on my <laughs> fingers there. It's definitely a lighter, you know, it's like, to me it's almost like it's in between a highlighter and a blush to me, but when you work it up, it is actually a really pretty blush. It's like an apricot-y, peachy, but it's very, very natural, which is what I would say like the highlight and the concealer are very natural finishes as well. Um, so if you like that, I feel like you actually will like these products. To me, I just, I'm not crazy about these cream ones. So these next two products are the ones that I was most excited about. Oh my gosh, so I picked up two of them. These are the Kilowatt Highlighters. And I got them in shade Trophy Wife, and then I got one of the little duos. Like some of them are split pan, some of them are full pan. So this one's a full pan Trophy Wife, and then I got a split pan in Mean Money and Hustla Baby. So let's check these out. So here is Trophy Wife in the full pan, and then this is what the split pan looks like, just so you guys can see the difference. They're both $34, so it doesn't matter if you get a full pan or a split pan, you're still gonna pay $34. I honestly think trophy wife is going to be too dark for me in the full pan they only had two options they had trophy wife and then a highlighter that was literally like white there wasn't like an in-between shade so I thought the white was gonna be too light I think trophy wife might be too dark but the swatches on this were just too good to pass up so I had to test it out for myself but I feel like these colors are probably gonna work better on my skin tone honestly so we'll go ahead and swatch these guys first so first I will do hustla baby 
that is really, really pretty. So I feel like in the split pans, we have like an intense highlight and then a more like kind of less glittery highlight. So this one is Mean Money. Yeah, so that one is definitely less intense, but still really, really beautiful. So I like this because it kind of like is like your daytime highlight and then your nighttime amp it up highlight, or for me, every single day. But for most people, I feel like this is really nice because you kind of have a more subtle and then a more like boom highlight. And they feel like so creamy and buttery too, which is really, really nice. So I like that. We will apply to the face. I just want to swatch me and money as well. The swatches on this look so good on mine, so I'm really hoping it lives up. Ooh, girl. Oh my God, oh, that's so pretty. I feel like this is gonna be too dark as a highlight even though I will apply it so we can see, but I feel like this would be amazing as an eyeshadow. So I'm still gonna definitely keep this cause that is so freaking pretty and then so buttery as well. Oh, wow, okay. So let's go ahead and put these on my face. I'm gonna go in with Hustla Baby first which is the more intense highlight and Ooh, girl, <gasps> wow, oh my God, yes. That is stunning and so intense and so pretty. Oh my God, and like when the light hits it, it's just like, Phew. I love it, wow. And it really doesn't emphasize texture either. Like as you guys can see, I have so many little micro bumps here, but this is just like gliding over it and not emphasizing it. Okay, Rihanna, you killed it on the highlights. These are a must have. Like this is a must have from the collection. I can already tell you because I love this. So pretty. I'm gonna go in with the more natural highlight down the bridge of my nose and above my cupid's bow so we can see what that looks like. Ooh. This is still really pretty, but like I said, much more natural. But I actually kind of like it on my nose because sometimes I feel like the highlight that I put on my cheekbones, I want to be more intense than the one that's like down my nose. So I feel like you could actually use these at the same time, but use this one where you want a less intense highlight and this one where you really want it to pop. So I'm really, really impressed with this. I really like this. They had a couple other options too, so I might go back and buy more of them, like as far as color goes. I think there was four of these different slip pans. This is the one that I just thought was gonna be best for my skin tone, but this, these colors, everything. I really, really like these. These are really great. I'm gonna go in with Trophy Wife on this side and pray to God that this isn't too dark even though I think it's going to be. This looked beautiful on Rihanna though. So like if you have a deeper skin tone, girl, go get this right now because I feel like you're gonna love it. Let's see if I can pull it off. <laughs> this is so pigmented, holy crap. Oh my God, I mean, it's too dark for me, obviously, like you guys can tell, but can we just, this is literally insane how pigmented that is. Please, Rihanna, come out with one that's in between this color and in between the lighter one. I'm sure probably, honestly, like as her cosmetic lines grows, she'll probably come out with more because this is stunning. I just feel like we need a middle color in between this one and then the other one that's like literally white because this is too dark, the white is too light. I might actually go back and get like the white highlight and then mix the two together because I feel like that would probably make a really good color for me in between. It's annoying that I have to get both, but I mean with this pigmentation, I'm like, I don't even care because this is so, so pretty. And then last but not least, we have the lip gloss. This is the Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer, and this is in the shade Fenty Glow. This was $18, so this was the cheapest thing, I believe, in the collection. This is what it looks like, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply. The wand is like huge, but I don't hate it. Ooh, this color is really pretty. Very, very glossy which I love. And it's very pigmented too. Like I obviously have no lipstick or anything underneath. Ooh, it smells really good too. It's like a berry kind of scent. I like it. This is a really, really pretty. And it's not sticky at all, which I really, really like. Cause it's so like glossy looking that you'd think it'd be really sticky, but it's not. And I think it looks really, really nice. Wow, I really like this. And the smell is amazing. 
All right, you guys, so that is everything that I got from the collection. Overall roundup of my first impressions, I would say the absolute must-have products are the highlighters and the lip gloss. I really, really liked them. They're definitely my top two favorites. The foundation and the primer, I liked. I can't say that I absolutely love them. They're gonna be part of my daily makeup routine, but I also definitely don't think that they're crap products. And the products that I have to say are a miss for me are these matchsticks. I think it's cool, like the magnetic. I like that. I like how you can buy them in three and how you can buy them separately, and there was a bunch of different shades. I just feel like there are honestly better cream highlights slash blushes, better concealers, and better cream contours. I just thought these were kind of like eh and kind of a miss for me. I feel like you could skip on these. Let me know down below what you guys think of the collection, what you have your eye on, and what you think you're going to get. I would love to hear. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!